Hey guys, Steve here from My Crypto World. So today uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about the uh, Theta Guardian node. Um, now, if you're a Theta follower um, and if you are supporting Theta with either running an Elite Edge node or a Guardian node, this may be of interest to you. Um, but what I've noticed on a lot of chat forums um, is that some people run into a lot of issues running the Guardian node. Uh, that is, they set it up okay and they might come back a few days later and find that it's not connecting, not syncing. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any jobs available for your Guardian node. Um, so today what I thought I'd do is just run through a very simple check tutorial that I use to make sure that everything's running okay uh, and it to sort of, I guess, debug it um, because occasionally I've had issues in the past as well. Now, at the moment on the screen in front of you, you can see that my uh, Guardian node is running. It's currently syncing to the Theta network. Uh, this is no a normal process, so there's nothing actually wrong with my Guardian node at the moment. But I thought I'd run you through the steps I've done in the past to uh, if you're having issues with your Guardian node. So the first thing I would suggest you do is that you go into Node. That's not what you do, actually. You go into Info. And the next, first thing you want to do is check for updates. So just by clicking on check for updates, um, the, system, the system itself will go and search uh, the Theta network and make sure that you're running the most up-to-date Guardian node available. Um, if that is the case, uh, you'll see no change. If it finds that there's a newer version out, it will self-download and probably give you a notification that it's going to do an update for you. The second thing you can do is you can go into info and you can go to performance tier. So this you would want to do this if you've done the first check, that is you've checked for updates. Um, and if there's been no change to the performance of your Guardian node, you want to go into your performance tier and you want to take it from whatever it is on. So at the moment, mine's on standard to premium or platinum. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but what you're trying to do is jolt the system. Now, what it will say to you is you're going to restart this Guardian node, but you're going to the more to the other tier. So you just simply click restart and the Guardian node will restart. You'll see that disappear on our screen at the moment. It will open up again in a minute, which it's now doing. And again, it's going through the initialization stage. Um, so. Uh, you can do that several times. So if you're on the performance tier of standard, you can move to premium. If that doesn't work, try platinum. And if that doesn't work, try going back to standard again, just to see if that jolts the system into working properly and connecting with the um, the Theta um, network. Um, now, the next thing you can do is you can go into restart node. So under the node button here, you can see stake the node, restart the node, reset peers, delete node database or delete node key. You really want to go to restart node. So really what it's doing is it kicking things off, shutting the node down completely and it will self reboot. The other thing you might want to do on top of all that is reboot your PC. So if you've gone through checking for updates, if you've gone through uh, checking your performance and changing your performance and you've restarted your node and still it's not connecting to the Theta network, uh, then what you want to do is recheck that your PC um, or your Apple Mac um, hasn't doesn't require any updates itself. Um, and regardless if it does or it doesn't need updates, certainly you would update the PC or your Mac uh, and then you would... Um, reset the computer or restart the computer again. So you want to do that and then restart the Guardian node. Uh, if that's the case and you've found that out, you may have to go through all these steps again just to uh, once you've done an update for your computer, just to see if that's going to uh, change things at all, if it still doesn't connect. Now the third thing you can do is, or probably it's not the third, it's the fourth, is you want to delete a file on the system called Snapshot. Now, this has actually worked for me more often than the other um, ideas I've just thrown up on uh, the screen to you. So the way you delete your snapshot file is you would go into your um, your PC, you would go to your Windows. So I'm running a PC. I know that Macs are a little bit different. Mac users will have to find this. It'll be something similar to this, but it may be different as well. Um, but essentially, you want to go to your PC, you want to go to your Windows drive, you want to go to Users, you want to go to the user you're using for this, uh, for the Guardian node. Uh, then you want to go into application data. Now, for some people, you're not going to see a file called application data. 
under your user name. Uh, but what you've got to do is you've got to go to the application data and many other folders in Windows are actually hidden. Um, that's because the Windows developers, uh, Microsoft, really don't want you playing around with your application data file. Um, it can change some para uh, parameters within your PC itself. Um, but what you want to do for this, in particular, this particular case, just go up the top to view, go down to show, and you'll see a button here, hidden icon, uh, items. So you want to make sure that that's ticked. If that's unticked, you need to tick it, and then the application data file will appear um, for you to view. So again, you're under users, you're under your username, you're going into application data. From application data, you want to go into roaming. From roaming, you want to scroll down, and I've got to get myself off the screen here or move myself over. We're going to go down to Theta Guardian node. You'll find two there, one's for the Edge node, one's for the Guardian node. We're particularly talking about the Guardian node today, so we'll go into Guardian node. Then you'll see Theta GN, so we click on that. Then you'll see Config Sys, which is Configuration Systems, Mainnet, and there's your snapshot file there. So you would go and delete that snapshot file, you would shut down the Guardian node, and then you would restart the Guardian node. The node itself will be looking for this snapshot file on your PC, and if it can't find it, it will download the latest snapshot file from the Theta network. Um, and that probably more times than not has solved my issue for the Guardian node um, errors that I have on my computer from time to time. I've had several days where I haven't been able to connect to it and this is the one surefire way that's always gotten me out of trouble. So quite lengthy, but again you go to your PC, your Windows um, uh, computer, Windows C drive, users, the username of whatever your username is, everyone's going to be very different, uh, application data, roaming, Theta Guardian node, Theta GN, config sys, mainnet, and then delete the snapshot file. Um, now downloading the snapshot file again can take several hours uh, from the Theta network. Don't be too alarmed if that's the case, you're better off just letting it run, walking away, going off and doing a day's worth of work coming back that evening and hopefully by then the snapshot file has completely downloaded. The other thing you can do um, as well is you can go into the Theta Guardian node and you can go into node and you can actually delete the node database. Um, now I would only use that as a last resort. If nothing else is working for you then you might want to consider doing that. Um, and the other option you've got of course is deleting the Guardian node files from your computer altogether completely from scratch and downloading an entire new version. But before you go and do that, you want to make sure you copy your key store file to a USB or move it to another folder on your directory, uh, on your laptop or your computer. Um, so that key store file, you don't want to lose that because that's unique to you. That's where you connect your Guardian wallet, uh, sorry, your Theta wallet and everything else to the network as well. So um, now some people when they download the Guardian node um, uh, app onto their PC, um, they move the key store file so they don't keep it in the standard spot because hackers, it's very easy for them to find where it is. Um, I certainly don't keep mine in the in the, um, in the the directory it was uh, first initiated in when I downloaded the Theta Guardian node. Um, I now move it into a private hidden file on my system. So if you haven't done that before, you really want to do it. To make it very safe and simple, move your key store file onto a USB uh, stick just for a while until you've downloaded and updated the uh, Guardian node completely and then reinsert and copy your key store file across to the Guardian node. Well, hopefully one of those solutions help you. So again, number one, check for updates. Number two, change the performance of the Guardian node. You've got three options there. Number, th uh, what was that, two, number three, restart the node. If that doesn't work, number four is to restart your PC. If you find your PC or your Apple Mac has got update issues um, and it needs to update certain parameters within its own software, then you need to do that and you need to follow all those options again if the Guardian node still doesn't work. Failing that, then you want to go in and delete the snapshot file. Failing that again, so we're up to no, uh, step number six, I think. Uh, you want to delete the, the node database and failing that you want to delete the Guardian node files completely from your computer. So in Windows, you would go, if you're using Windows, you would go to add remove programs, uh, just search for that in your PC and in those programs you'll see down in the list, it's usually listed alphabetically, the Theta Guardian node. But before you delete that, 
you need to save a copy of a key store file to a USB so you don't lose that data. Uh, I'm hopeful that one of those solutions will work for you. If it doesn't, drop a comment in the, in the comment section below. Um, and if I don't get back to you, I know there's hundreds of people that watch these videos. So somebody, maybe even smarter than me, will probably be able to answer that. Um, if not, you can always shoot a message off to Theta themselves. They're pretty quick on their support um, side of the, of the company. So um, it shouldn't be too long be here before you hear back from somebody. I hope that information is useful. Take care of yourself and each other and we'll see you in the next video shortly. Cheers.